This chapter is so unique that God reveals a whole chapter in honor of this lady, Khawla. who pleaded to God to stop in one way or the other, or to listen to her pleading against the emotional abuse that her husband was showing towards her. Right. The first verse of this chapter highlights something unique. It's the only verse in the Holy Quran where God says he's hearing three times, the all hearing. قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعْ تَحَاوْرَكُمَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِعَ مَصَمْ The Quran says, Allah hears the cry okay. of the one who argues with you about the treatment of her husband. and pleads to God, and God is the all-hearing. This is wonderful because what God's showing many out there in their marriages today is if you're emotionally being abused, don't worry. I hear your call for mm. help. Okay. That arrogant husband of yours thinks that because publicly he is seen as religious, In Muharram, he wears black. He goes to Ziyara. The people see him know how to have the formalities. They don't see him at home. Tell your husband, I hear every blackmailing that he's ever done to you. Okay. I hear when he oppresses you. I hear when he speaks arrogantly to you. I hear when he emotionally abuses you. You know, some of the most knowledgeable people in Islam are sometimes the most arrogant to their wives. Okay. They know the Quran, they know the Hadiths. Uh, that lady who Surah Al-Mujadala was, na was um, revealed because of her pleading yeah. cry about the emotional abuse that she suffered. You found that the likes of Omar were in awe okay. of how okay. they couldn't reply back to her Because she was the first to really speak out for women who were emotionally abused. In our societies today, there are men who tell their wives, for example, that because you said something wrong, I'm going to lock you in the house today. I'm going to take your phone away. I'm going to take your credit cards away. I'm going to force you to be at home with the kids. This is nothing to do with Islam. This is rubbish culture mm -hmm. or... Parents who are rubbish, upbringing, yeah, yeah, yeah. instilling it in their sons. And then there are those husbands out there. They're sitting with their wife, she's given birth. Biologically, psychologically, emotionally, after the wife has given birth, she may not look like what she looked like before. Mm -hmm. There is a period to regain that figure. Yes. And you'll find the husband will mock. He'll blatantly in front of the television say, look how beautiful this actress is. You're not like her. Mm. It's disgraceful. It is. It's disgraceful. disgraceful. Yeah. There are some who'll turn around and say, you know what, you're, you know, you're getting fatter now. You know, you're, you're someone I don't want to be seen in public with. There are some husbands. They don't like the look of their wives, so they don't actually take them out in take public. Them out, yeah. yeah. And the wife begins to sense this as well. Sure. Yeah. And you think that he's Brad Pitt. This is the irony. You know, you think he's some really gorgeous Hollywood actor. You look at him and you're thinking, this one's the one who's ashamed. Yeah. But as we saw with the Prophet and the Ahl al-Bayt, and especially Imam Ali and Fatima al Zahra, so, there's a wonderful marriage there. It's romantic, it's love, it's cooperation, it's patience. It's a unique, unique relationship. She's young, she has four kids. Never do we hear him say to her, 
you know, look at your bodily change. Mm. Because, you know, Imam al Hassan, Imam al Hussein, Sayyidah Zainab, and Um Kulthum, one's after the other, and then Muhsin. Yes. So, Father Wadi Zahra has five kids within <coughs> nine years. Did you ever hear Imam Ali السلام, say, You become fat? Or, Never. Or Imam Ali السلام, ever turn around and mock her in front of his family? Or Imam Ali السلام, ever look elsewhere in that period mm. post pregnancy? You know, they tried to make an accusation that Imam Ali was interested in Abu Jahl's daughter, Juwayriya, to try and destroy the wonderful emotional balance that him and Fatima Zahra have. Yes. And you know that hadith, Fatima is a part of me, whoever angers, angers me. They say it was revealed because Imam Ali angered Fatima Zahra. When he wanted to marry Juwayriya, the daughter of Abu Jahl. So what we find with the Ahlul Bayt, there's these really tender moments. Imam Ali, when he describes Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, those last moments, he shows an emotional edge to him which many Muslim husbands don't have. A soft-heartedness which is unique. A flower mm -hmm. came from heaven, went to heaven, left its fragrance, fragrance. in my mind. He even describes when he's burying her, and after he's buried her, these are difficult nights for me. Yeah, yeah. That's what a Muslim man was. Ali Salam Talib was the chivalrous human being who didn't find it embarrassing to praise his wife, to show love to his wife, to be soft with his wife. He didn't find it as something which lowered from his character. Mm. He was proud to actually extol his wife's yeah. achievements. And I hope this returns to the Muslim community. Inshallah, inshallah.